so um, I'm going to jump in and do some rowing technique with you. So just starting with the feet, key points, you want to have the grips of the bands kind of sitting where your shoelaces are. That's going to be the biggest support for you, so this would be slightly too big for me. I tend to have mine on about one or two. So putting that up through there just allows you to get more support, um, creating more power. So coming in through that position there. So most people find that they get a sore back when they row. So it's because they're in that hunched over position. So use everything that you learn from your lifts. Deep breath in, pulling your shoulder blades back. Actually exposing your chest. So key point, if you ever feel your back starting to get a little bit sore, think, am I sitting in the right position? So shoulders back, you want to keep um, the handles as close to the body as you can. As soon as you start to get away from you, the row has basically got control. So shoulders back. I usually like to come as far forward as I can um, while still being able to maintain an upright body. If I'm slumping and I'm pulling from this position, I'm going to hurt myself in the long run. So shoulders back, coming as far forward as you can. We want to be using our legs. If you pull too early like a snatch or a clean, it's going to be all your upper body doing all the work. So driving through the legs, squeezing the quad, following through with the arms. So you want to be pulling to mid sternum. I'll go for five strokes. Oh, they do three. Um, but yeah, next point from that, from there, is you want to keep it close to you. So once we come forward, it's coming up the quads and staying close, the same on the return. Down the quads, and then I usually like to drop by the shin. Cool guys, hope you learned something from that.